Hey everybody, it's War Scars here from Dedo, the Guild Dedo, and this is the Krakos Pyramid Challenge. I'm gonna show you how to complete that. It's a quick run, as long as you know what you're doing. Um, and you get really good gear. It is actually the gear I'm wearing right now. And I am raid ready, so I can do scorpion raid. My item level is 751. Um, you'll get like, uh, the keeper of water armor. I'll show you when we get there. So basically you are going to travel to Sansi. You're going to go to Bastion. Um, and this area is, uh, 31 plus, I want to say. It's kind of weird how they got the quest line set up here with the levels but once you hit 32 you can do just about everything so you'll travel through um you'll eventually after you get so far in the quest line you'll be able to talk to skiff master squint and you can skiff travel you'll go to the valley of the undying king and this place is cool it's like one of my most favorite places in the game um and this is lord sec it's his temple. He's the Undying King. Uh, and once you beat in the storyline, you unlock this portal here. And you can travel to a bunch of different places. Like all, these are all bosses here, pretty much dungeons uh, and the raid. Um, and there's Lord Sect himself. It'd be awesome if you had some, we could get that gear one day. It'd be really cool. Uh, he gives you legendary Sun Fury Scythe Quest once you unlock it. You gotta beat everything to get, get all this unlocked. That's the legendary weapon. Uh, you get a daily and a repeatable. Just showing you a quick run through of that. That's your legendary weapon that everybody talks about. And it takes 25 days to do it. So, you know, it's, it's a lot of questing. Um, but here's the entrance to where we came from. If you don't have that unlock and you'll just stay to the right of Lord sect temple. Just run on through. We're going to hit auto run here. Free up some hands. And there is the Krakos pyramid directly behind Lord sex temple. And I, my suggestion, um, a lot of people are focused on all different sets of gear. It's This is all you need. I've done all the content in this game. The gear that you get from here, you can get in one day if you just dedicate time to grind. I've spent about five hours running with the same group, um, my guildies. And we're like, none of us were geared whatsoever like i was still wearing level 27 gear from arcane pro um so i was not really doing much damage and we beat it like it was nothing and this is all the gear that you can get um this scythe i don't recommend getting unless you just have Rocco's teeth uh because in the quest line you'll get what is called zoom's bow and it's the equivalent of what i have I mean, it's got different stats, but um, infusion wise to get your item level up seven fifty. Let's see, it's got 15 out of 15. Zoom's bow has it as well. And um, it's got like, I believe it's got more attack or something like that. I'm more of a, I prefer crit over attack, but that's just me. Um, it's all preference. Uh, so he, so you can buy every piece of armor from him except for two pieces. Uh, and I'll show you those. They just, they're just a variation of the belt, which I don't have in the armor. Um, I do have the armor. They just swap stats out basically. So it's just preference. Nothing you really need to worry about. It's not OP or anything like that. Just get this gear and just continue grinding. Um, also this currency here, you'll be getting from doing these quests and dungeons. Um, so basically like save those up until there's one piece left that you don't have and just buy it and 
you'll get it much quicker. You'll complete the set. So his quest is repeatable. Uh, defeat the Croco statue, which is the boss. So just every time you run it, pick that up. There's another quest in here. It's the Hidden Mummy. I don't suggest doing it because you don't really get a benefit from it. Um, there's a staff that drops, but it's really just a waste of time unless you want to do it. And I'm not really going to get into that. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to run the dungeon quickly. But yeah, pick up your quest here. Uh, you ready, Chestnut? Are you there, Chestnut? I don't hear you, buddy. Yes, bro. Okay, cool. You ready? Ready. All right. Yes. Let's knock her out. As we say uh, over here in America in the South, we say, get her done. <laughs> yeah, so they'll drop that. Croco's teeth is your currency. And you'll pick that up from beating the boss. That's what you use to buy the armor with. Um, the, the champion tablet, I believe, is for the title. Yeah, yeah, acquire the um, Krakos champion title. The gill potions you can use for fighting the mummy or breathing underwater is what those are for. Uh, and here's the versions I was talking about. So those are the alternate. And the stats are a little different um, because uh, obviously mine are, my, my gear is infused, so it's going to be higher than what you're seeing on the screen now. Uh, but these are really pretty rare drops. I was lucky to get the armor. Um, I did not get the belt, and I'm not worried about it because I've already beat the Scorpion Raid with ease. Uh, but he drops everything. And these Sunkeeper boots and gloves, you do want to keep, even though they're lesser um, level than the other gear because you can use it to craft an even better set that's later on. Um, in another dungeon and we'll do the tutorial on that at some point it's called the Dejen challenge it's in the great pyramid um, but you're going to need each piece of that set the sun keeper set plus some other items to craft um, I can't remember the name of the armor but when we did the tutorial I'll show you but yeah that's pretty much the gist of that and we will go ahead and go in Rocco's challenge basically i like to kill these guys right here and in this dungeon you don't really have to worry about killing much um unless you want to but that's preference you can speed run this and you don't lose any benefit the only reason why i kill those four is because when you fight the boss if someone dies you spawn right here and if you look directly ahead right where my cursor is that little little dark square that's the boss room so if you die, the portal's right here. You just run right back into it. It'll be glowing. You just run right back into it and it'll teleport, it'll teleport you to the boss. So activate the eyes to open the door. There's four eyes. And when, <clears throat> when you activate each one, these little um, alligator heads will squirt out water. You'll know that they're activated. We're gonna go to the right first. There's only one on this side. Usually one person goes this way and everybody else goes the other way. And you just run past these guys is what you do. They slow you down, but you just stay mounted. Um, and you gotta kinda like jump across these cause they break like that right there. You can't always get across it the first time, which can be a pain cause see here comes the monsters. We'll try the second one. It kind of changes up. I didn't know it changed up. See, here's the eye. You just click it. Then you, ah. This will get you killed right here, those cutscenes. That's okay, though. We'll run back, right back that way and uh, show you where to go. I wish they'd take those cutscenes out once you beat it the first time. That'd be nice. See how I said the water would spout out? There you go. So, like, this one is for the room we just did. This one will be for the test room. And I'll explain that when we get there. That's the last room you do. 
Um, and that's the first eye, second eye. That's all kind of really irrelevant, but I just figured I'd add that in there. So yeah, sorry about dying, but you come in here, you jump across the bridges. Hopefully it doesn't break on you. The eyes over there, you got to click on it to activate it. And then you'll run through here. Stay on these um, squares, platforms, or else you'll fall in. And that mummy's under the water here. Well, we're not going to do that because it's pointless, in my opinion. This is the test room. Um, so I'll spell that out real quick. And you'll see this a lot. When they say that in chat, that means that everything's done. Meet up here. And you do not want to activate this until everyone's in the room because if you do, especially if you're alone, this door right here, and there's one adjacent to me over there, is going to lock and no one else can come in. Uh, hey, Ch all right, we're going back that way. But yeah, if, if you do, it's going to be messy. You're going to be fighting by yourself and teammates are going to be mad. So you just need to wait until everyone gets there. Just be patient and courteous as always. We're just going to backtrack here just to show you stage by stage. Typically, one person would run this, like I said, and they would just sit in that room and they would say test room. All right, so we're back at the beginning. There's the entrance this way. Boss portals over there. Boss room is right here. That'll open up once you do all the eyes. All right, this one's pretty easy. Um, you can kill these. We'll just go ahead and do it. Just because... But you can do it without killing them. They just get on my nerves. You'll click this. Little crystal here. It only stays up for so long. You just kind of jump across. Activate that eye. See those cutscenes. They can be aggravating. I mean, thanks for putting them in there, Artix Entertainment. Wow, I actually made it back across that without it going back down. Because, see, this will go back down. And if it does, no, don't worry if you fall in that water at all. Uh, you can just go right back up these steps here. Hit that eye again. It'll go right back up. So, no, no worries. That's the easiest one to do, honestly. You just skip all these guys. And then here's the part. You want to stay in the middle because everything's chasing you so you don't die. And there's three of these little crystals here. You kind of just got to, ah, I unmounted. All right. You got to kind of click them till, oh, don't die, don't die. I'm stuck. Let's kill these guys real quick. Being aggravating. There's no certain order. All right. So there's one and then now three. All right. Once you get all three of those lit up, it's a different combination every time, I think. It'll drain this pool here. And that's going to be your second eye on this side. So boom, that was the one we just did a second ago. And then there's that one. You'll run back up. You'll go right. What is to the left of you? Actually, I've never been in this room. What is this? Oh no, I do. I don't know what that is. Oh, I think it's uh, like uh, something up there, like um, I don't know. Right, we go check it out real quick. It's junk leaf. Not really sure what it is. Oh, that's the mummy gate. That's what that's for. Oh yeah. Yeah, to do the mummy. I forgot. <laughs> Anywho, if you want to do the mummy, that's part of it. But I suggest you just skip the mummy. Okay, so we came from there. You're gonna go to the right once you do that crystal, and then at this point you'll be like test room you know you'll hop in make sure everybody's in here everybody usually meets right here sometimes people will rush ahead and won't pay attention and they'll go ahead and click that statue uh and once you click it like i said those gates over there will close and we are ready to fight um warrior can be good here aoe if you want to do it quick uh i'm just gonna stay zerker though 
I don't really feel like switching up. And it, I mean, it's this is real. I pull two of these guys at the same time. You can kind of pull the whole room, really, if you want to. And let me pull them over here. We come over here, Chestnut, so they can see the attack better. So they just have those frontal cone attacks, easy to dodge. It's really the only thing that hurts real bad. Those fish, the little scorpion fish down there, it's kind of hard to see right there. They'll slow you down. That's about it. They don't do much damage. But yeah, basically you just clear this room. Once you clear it, you can touch that eye again. It activates the fountain and you are ready to go to the boss. So just give us a minute to clear this room. Doesn't take very long. And you know, we're only running with two people on a challenge mode, suggested five. Pretty easy though, pretty, pretty easy. Pull these guys. Gonna kill these little guys first, little scorpions. I too, anyways. <clears throat> Just alien too. Ah, better move. You gotta watch these blades of grass because you get stuck on them. These right here with my cursor. Those who get stuck. I'm on the wrong person. If you die here, you cannot get back in. So, at least not until everyone dies. No way back in. Pink. Got him for a second. Like that. And we are almost done with the eyes activating the eyes okay boom that's it that's all you got to do in the test room once again this is the test room do not click the crystal until everyone is in here or the eye rather so see it's um glowing again it's ready once you do that go to a cut scene and another cut scene and boss room boom now everybody just runs back go either way to run back i always go this way i don't know why i just do i don't have to worry about falling in water or anything run right on back And this boss fight's not very hard. Um, there's one thing you really have to watch out for, and it's his geyser attack. I don't care who you are. If you get stuck in it, you're going to die pretty quick. All right, are you ready, Chest? Yeah, we're up. All right, brother, let's take it on out. Watch this cutscene. And you want to wait till everyone's in the room. Although the it locks that portal once that door locks that portal on the outside I showed you becomes active so you can always get back in. That's a cool cutscene. I like that with my character in it. And this boss doesn't really hit too hard for the most part. Easy to dodge. He's just got like a geyser. That's it. It hurts. It hurts bad slows you so it's like if it if you're stuck in it you're pretty much gonna die within a couple seconds not even it's about like a second <laughs> uh, I meant to save my ultimate that's all right I'll pull back up by then um so the next phase like he's gonna end up getting going invincible for a minute disappearing or you won't be able to target him, rather. And once he does that, the room's gonna fill up with water. And on either side, so here, and then adjacent to me, 
where I'm looking, um, a creature is going to spawn that you have to kill quickly, or you will drown, unless you have gill potions on. But the boss will also attack you when you're in there. I kind of watch out for that. Move around. That's true. And um, if you saw those rocks that he just threw out, like that AOE, you don't really want to stand in that. Not that it hurts you. It misses. Um, but when he spawns the geysers, you cannot see them under that. The best thing to do is avoid that. So you can got line of sight. See, there's the guys over there. That thing will kill you. I'm going to show you how quick it kills you. Like you just can't get out of it. I'll be right back, Chess. Never. So if you see that circle popping up under you or see him casting geyser, you better move real quick. And this is how you get back in. He's running right back in. Yeah, I mean, that's almost instant. And he'll spawn like three of those guys just at once eventually. Are you playing Warrior right now? Yeah, you are. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so see how he went over there? Go to the other side. Yes, I got this one. These little monsters spawn. You got to kill them quick or you drown. See down here is your um, air, I guess. Your oxygen level. Sorry. See, I don't know if you can solo this. I'm going to try it, actually, just because of that. Yeah, you can solo it with the uh, potions. Did you die? Oh, crap. Hopefully, I don't drown. I'm going to ult. All good. All gravy. Yeah, but if you don't kill those quick enough, you will drown. Unless you have the gill potions. And typically, when you fight this boss... A lot of people fight him right here, but the bad thing about that is when he starts spouting geysers out everywhere, it's like a cluster of like chaos. He's only throwing out one right now, but and you can see him a lot better if he's like just standing in the center. I ran right back into it. Woo! See, he about got me with that. You got to be quick with it. Because it slows you down so hard you can't get out of it. Unless you're right on the edge, you're lucky. Ah, oh, see, he got me. I was not paying attention. Got to be quick with it. But my graphics are turned down low, too, so it's like much easier if your graphics are up. Pretty simple fight, though. That's the gist of it, really. See, it's much easier to see those geysers when it's in the middle. When you got five people in this dungeon, and they're casting spells, and I've got to stop taking my hand off the mouse here. If they're casting spells and things like that, it gets really chaotic. Um, the visuals do. You're going to go back underwater. You're going to go on the other side. Typically, there would be two people on one side, three on the other. Whichever side you go to first, I recommend going to it every time that he goes underwater. But typically, if you got a good group, he'll only go underwater one. Oh, you died again. Uh oh. Yeah, I forgot the <laughs> All right. I should get as long as he doesn't smack me again. Yeah, so basically, like I said, you want to pull them out here. Ooh, that's why. So you can see those geysers. I spawned another one. See how much he, like, spams them at this point? 
That's why you want to fight them out here so you can see them a lot better and you move around. There's more area to move. Water, if you go in the water, it slows you. Oh, dang, you went underwater that quick. Yeah, see how the boss, he'll chase you underwater. He'll go to one side or the other. <clears throat> you just want to keep moving. If he comes after you, like, move back and forth. One way or the other. And his uh, his linear attack will typically miss you. Especially once you get the rhythm of it. Alright, we'll pull him right back out here. It's because of those geysers. Let him do his thing. Ult him. Hopefully we'll burn him down on this. And this is the the fight's much faster normally, but we're literally you guys in challenge mode. This dungeon normally only takes about 10 or 15 minutes. And like I said, you can get the gear in probably a day. I got mine in one day. Oh, guys are, woof. Man, he spammed him right there. It's all over me. He don't like me today. Another guys are, oh, he's got four out, five. Rocco's is enraged. Man, he is whooping up on me right now. He's, he's super mad. He's not playing around. Four got five geysers? Yeah. It's because it's taking so long to fight him. Like, he's it is enraged. Oh, I'm dead. Took my hand off the mouse. Right. So, here's another common courtesy of this dungeon. Um. Once you kill the boss, you don't get loot. A chest will appear actually right where I'm dead at. It'll be right here. You want to wait in case any of your teammates die. You want to wait till they get back in and at least hit it once or they get no loot. So just a common courtesy. Try to remember that if someone's dead. You know, tell your teammates, hey, wait. Or if you die, you know, tell them, wait, let me hit the chest. Whatever you want to say, however you want to say it. Just a suggestion. If not, you only ran this thing for uh, pretty much the quest. The goal here is to get the gear. Ain't about killed me. What? Uh, get you again. Whoop. Get out of that. Yeah. Ooh, I'm going to have to hit my ult just to run faster. Oh, get out of that. Okay. Okay. All right, I got it. Woo. That's nice. Almost drowned. All right, we well, got in well. here. <laughs> I had to hit my ult just so I could run faster. That's what I like about the ult. Reserver ult. It's like, all right. That, oh, what? It's because we're fighting him so slow. He's like enraged. Going underwater. He's gone underwater like four times. Typically, only like with five people, he only goes into the water once. Got good. Might die. Maybe we'll see if he does his AOE and kill me. Good. All right, I survived. You're gonna survive too. Sweet. Nice. Uh, <sighs> I want to get him out of here because the guys are just going to pop up. Yep. Ooh, bro. Oh, barely missed it. They spawn so fast, it's ridiculous. What was it? I just got hit by his linear attack, I guess. That's all right. Ooh, no, don't leave. I'm gonna do that. So once again, jump back into the portal ring. Dude, <laughs> he's pissed at us. 
It's taking. Yeah. It's just. It's only because it's taking too long. He's like, we've hit his enrage timer, so he's spamming everything, hitting harder, going underwater more. He's coming after you. And if he chases you in here, like I said, just move around. All right, I about got this one. Okay, cool. Got that one. Oh, you killed it. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good uh, kill. I'll make sure I don't die. I don't win. Oh, no, no, no. Oof. Narrow escape. We almost had to redo that hole. He spawned that guys are right on me. Like I said, that's why I like to fight him in the middle, but I was not doing it. See. Boom. All right. Not too bad for two men. So here's the chest. Like I said, don't destroy that thing until all your teammates have hit it at least once or else they don't get any loot. And they're probably not going to run with you again. That. See how he had to just come back in? All right. And then now you just burn it. Get your loot. It'd be cool if I got the all belt. I've gotten it. Yet. Yeah. Which, like I said, I'm not worried about getting it. It's not like a major. It's not going to make that much of a difference. It would just be cool to get it on stream. What did we get? Keeper of water boots. I didn't need these teeth. You want to keep? Um, that's the currency. Like I said, to buy the gear outside. Uh, and here's your tablet for the title already have i don't know why i picked it up now i gotta destroy all that um and these scales and all that i believe are to make the uh potions the gill potions that you can breathe underwater and that is the gist of that so what you'll do once you loot what you want to loot go back out turn around talk to mr guard again Turn your quest in. 15,000 experience to get 10 more teeth. 1,500 gold. Not too bad. And like I said, it, you, you'll run through this a lot quicker with at least four people. Three people could do it pretty quick. Um, but four is like fine. As long as everybody knows what they're doing, run in there, get it done. But you can accept that again. It's repeatable. Get as many times as you want. You'll build up that currency enough to buy typically one piece of gear. By the time you run it, you'll have all the gear. Just buy whichever piece you're missing. And I'll show you that stuff one more time. So here's all that. You know, 450, 600. I think I ended up with about 800, I want to say, um, Krakos teeth by the time I was done. And I bought... Um, one of the pieces Let's see well I got 1100 so yeah I don't know maybe I'm a little wrong on those numbers so I pr probably had well no I've been helping guildies never mind but yeah I had enough I think to buy the armor by the end or the weapon either one but I had already gotten the uh, weapon I have now uh, but yeah here's the guild potions he's talking about that <sighs> Water-based staff. That's what you get from the mummy, I believe. That's pretty much it for the Krakos Pyramid. And you can just stand outside here and say Krakos, three out of five, whatever. You can just keep, I mean, people run this. It's super common dungeon, super, super. Um, and like I said, it's the easiest way to get geared for the Scorpion Raid, which requires 751 gear level. Um, and if you get the full Croco set, even with the weapon, I believe, let's check that one more time. I don't know it all, but I do know a lot. Um, so it only goes to 10. And I do believe the one that goes to 15. Yeah, so you're gonna need a weapon that goes to 15. And Zoom's bow you'll get from the quest uh, which people prefer that over what I've got, but I've got what I got and that's what I got. I do just fine. Thank you for viewing this. If you want to see more, uh, wouldn't mind you hitting that follow button. That would be awesome. Much appreciated. 
I'm going to keep doing this uh, regardless because I enjoy it and I hope it helps everybody out. Hope to see you in game. You'll recognize me because this is my trademark outfit. And here is my buddy dancing, doing a little uh, twerking. Yes, I don't know, you know. Hey, he's doing his own thing. He's showing off of that guard. He's trying to get secret uh, weapons or something. But I appreciate it, Chestnut. This is War Scars awesome, from Hill Dedo. Chestnut, if you want to shout out and say, say anything, you can go ahead. Hi, guys. Alrighty. Thank you for viewing the stream. And check out our other clips, tutorials. Very much appreciated. War Scars, and I'm out.